Over in the US, the police have been told to prepare for potential unrest. If Other news this morning, the Princess of Wales has persuaded some of them... I feel that you need to tell us with such feeling, I've got personal issues with potholes. Well, I have, because on the school run, there's so many, and I do literally what Nick was saying. I have to swerve into exactly. the... I mean, it's a swerve around it. The number of tyres I've replaced since I've been driving, oh. since I was 17, because of pot slow punk bit low, you go to the thing, he goes, oh, you've got a slow puncture there, and you think, I've hit a pothole. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth. I mean, it's eating. Yeah, and expensive. De so, and there's no and recourse dangerous. for it. The Princess of Wales has persuaded some of the world's largest companies, including Unilever, Ikea. Southgate says that he has no safety concerns ahead of the national team's Euro 2024 qualifier that takes place there on Thursday. And tennis legend, Mar uh, and that's it, you're up to date. Manvia, thank you. Good morning. A primary school head says she will refuse to let Ofsted inspectors into her school today. Her defiant stand follows the suicide of fellow teacher Ruth Perry, who took her own life after an inspection. Other schools say that they will hold a minute's silence before any inspections, and teaching unions are now demanding a pause to all visits. Let's join Katie Rick. The UK government is considering whether or not to back President Zelensky's call for suspected Russian war crimes to be investigated by an international tribunal. He made the plea in a special video address to a meeting of justice ministers from around the world that was held in London. Let's get more from our plea. Now, it would cost £14 billion and take 11 years to fix all the potholes and crumbling roads in England and Wales, according to new research. The report commissioned by the Asphalt Industry Alliance found that shortfalls in pothole repair budgets among local authorities have reached a record high. Nick Dixon is in Brackley. The Good morning. A primary school head says that she will refuse to let Ofsted inspectors into her school today. Her defiant stand follows the suicide of fellow teacher Ruth Perry, who took her own life after an inspection. Other schools say they will hold a minute's silence before any inspections, and teaching unions are demanding a pause to all visits. Katie Rickett. The UK government is considering whether or not to back President Zelensky's calls for suspected Russian war crimes to be investigated by an international tribunal. He made the plea in a special video address to a meeting of justice ministers from around the world that was held in London yesterday. Our political correspondent is getting you all riled this morning. It would cost £14 billion and take 11 years to fix all the potholes and crumbling roads in England and Wales. That's according to new research. The report commissioned by the Asphalt Industry Alliance found that shortfalls in pothole repair budgets among local authorities had reached a record high. Well, Nick Dixon is in Perry, has caused a really huge backlash amongst her colleagues. Heard from, you know, Susanna's been in Ukraine, we've had Richard Gaysford out there basically all year. They've heard about these crimes firsthand. What is our government saying in response to Zelensky's plea for this to go to an international tribunal? Yeah, we have Mr. Pothole. I'm not sure that's him behind you, is it? But uh, he was—he became the mayor, didn't he? Listen, droves of people watching at home have been getting in touch this morning. I have my own annoyance about it. What can you tell us about? I mean, is it ever going to be fixable, this issue? Uh, of Ruth Perry. It's actually caused an enormous backlash, hasn't it, amongst teachers across England? They sort of been in Ukraine. They've heard firsthand some of these horrific stories that Zelensky is talking about. What's the government's response here in the UK to that call? Yeah, we have had many, many... So many people at home getting ready for work this morning, cycling, driving, will know exactly why this is such a horrible issue for, for everybody who uses the roads. Yeah, your personal pothole no, issues. because you said quieter road, but still it's a bit, you know, not an injury, but it's still deeply irritating.